Overview Information Chlorella is a type of algae that grows in fresh water. The whole plant is used to make nutritional supplements and medicine. Most of the chlorella that is available in the U.S. is grown in Japan or Taiwan. It is processed and made into tablets and liquid extracts. These extracts contain chlorella growth factor which is described as a water-soluble extract of chlorella containing chemicals including amino acids, peptides, proteins, vitamins, sugars, and nucleic acids. Be aware that chlorella products can vary significantly depending on the way the crop used to make them was cultivated, harvested, and processed. Investigators have found that dried preparation of chlorella can contain from 7% to 88% protein. 6% to 38% carbohydrate, and 7% to 75% fat. As a medicine, chlorella is used for preventing cancer, reducing radiation treatment side effects, stimulating the immune system, improving response to flu vaccine, increasing white blood cell counts, especially in people with HIV infection or cancer, preventing colds, protecting the body against toxic metals such as lead and mercury, and slowing the aging process. Chlorella is also used to increase good bacteria in the intestine in order to improve digestion, and to help treat ulcers, colitis, Crohn's disease, and diverticulosis. Some people also use chlorella for the prevention of stress-related ulcers, treatment of constipation, bad breath, and hypertension, as an antioxidant, to reduce cholesterol, to increase energy, to detoxify the body, and as a source of magnesium to promote mental health relieve premenstrual syndrome, PMS, and reduce asthma attacks. It is also used for fibromyalgia. Chlorella is applied to the skin for treating skin ulcers, rashes caused by radiation treatment, and a sexually transmitted disease called trichomoniasis. How does it work? Chlorella is a good source of protein, fats, carbohydrates, fiber, chlorophyll, vitamins, and minerals. The cell wall of chlorella must be broken down before people can digest it. Uses and effectiveness Insufficient evidence for fibromyalgia. Some people with fibromyalgia say they feel better when they take chlorella tablets plus a liquid extract containing malic acid daily for two months. Brain tumor, gilliama. Early research suggests chlorella tablets plus chlorella liquid extract might help people with a type of brain cancer called gilliamu better tolerate chemotherapy and radiation treatments, possibly by boosting the immune system. However, chlorella does not seem to slow the progression of the cancer or improve survival. High blood pressure. Early research suggests that taking chlorella daily for one to two months does not reduce blood pressure in people with high blood pressure. Cancer prevention. Colds, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, ulcers, constipation, bad breath, high cholesterol, other conditions. More evidence is needed to rate the effectiveness of chlorella for these uses. Side effects and safety. Chlorella is possibly safe when taken by mouth, short term, up to two months. The most common side effects include diarrhea, nausea, gas, flatulence, green discoloration of the stools, and stomach cramping especially in the first week of use. Chlorella has caused serious allergic reactions, including asthma and other dangerous breathing problems. Chlorella can cause skin to become extra sensitive to the sun. Wear sunblock outside, especially if you are light-skinned. Special precautions and warnings. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. There is not enough reliable information about the safety of taking chlorella if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. Stay on the safe side and avoid use. Iodine sensitivity. Chlorella can contain iodine. Therefore, chlorella might cause an allergic reaction in people sensitive to iodine. Allergy to molds. Chlorella might cause an allergic reaction in people who are also allergic to molds. Weak immune system. Immunodeficiency. There is a concern that chlorella might cause bad bacteria to take over in the intestine of people who have a weak immune system. Be careful with chlorella if you have this problem. Autoimmune diseases such as multiple sclerosis, MS, lupus, systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE, rheumatoid arthritis, RA, or other conditions, chlorella might cause the immune system to become more active, 
and this could increase the symptoms of autoimmune diseases. If you have one of these conditions, it's best to avoid using chlorella. Interactions Moderate interaction Be cautious with this combination. Medications that decrease the immune system Immunosuppressants Interacts with chlorella. Chlorella might increase the immune system. By increasing the immune system, Chlorella might decrease the effectiveness of medications that are used to decrease the immune system. Some medications that decrease the immune system include azathioprine, amoran, basiliximab, simulect, cyclosporine, neoural, sandimune, daclizumab, xenopax, mirimnepcd3, ocated T3, orthoclonocated T3, mycophenolate, selexept, tacrolimus, FK506, prograf. Cyrolimus, Repimune, Prednisone, Deltasone, Oris, Corticosteroids, Glucocorticoids, and others. Warfarin, Coumadin, interacts with Chlorella. Chlorella contains large amounts of vitamin K. Vitamin K is used by the body to help blood clot. Warfarin, Coumadin, is used to slow blood clotting. By helping the blood clot, Chlorella might decrease the effectiveness of Warfarin. Coumadin. Be sure to have your blood checked regularly. The dose of your warfarin, Coumadin, might need to be changed. Dosing. The appropriate dose of chlorella depends on several factors such as the user's age, health, and several other conditions. At this time there is not enough scientific information to determine an appropriate range of doses for chlorella. Keep in mind that natural products are not always necessarily safe and dosages can be important. Be sure to follow relevant directions on product labels and consult your pharmacist or physician or other healthcare professional before using.